NFL previews, and we are going to start with the AFC South today. So we are going to cover the AFC South and the NFC South. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire into the Houston Texans. Went 10-6 and six last year, not too shabby. Uh, their win total right now as it sits, and we're going to use five dimes today. Uh, their win total is at eight. To go over is plus 100. To go under is minus 120, so they think it is more likely that they will go under. Um, to win the division, they are plus 330. Coach is Bill O'Brien, and he is maybe the worst GM ever at making trades. He is absolutely awful. If you look at the Hopkins trade, if you look at what they gave up to uh, to get, oh, God, I had his name on the tip of my tongue. Um, well, they got rid of Clowney for nothing, too. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they got rid of him for nothing. But uh, what was the the uh, Brandon Cooks? Brandon Cooks. No, they got in. yeah, they got Cooks, but they gave up too much for him. What the, yep. the offensive lineman from the Dolphins? Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, Tunstall. Yes, Laramie. Yes, Laramie Tunstall. Um, oh boy. So you know they they, they gave up for that they gave up two firsts for him, Ooh. and then still had to pay him. You know, I mean, it's yeah, just and, insane. And it paid paid for him on this way, and then paid up for him on the back end. Exactly. So, um, so last year offense pretty good, number twelve in yards per play. 5.7 yards per play last year. Defensive yards per play, 6.1. That was number 32. Worst in football. Now, it's I, not it, good, is it? That surprised me. That, but wait I, a minute. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, don't, I can't understand this. J.J. Watt's on this football team, Gary. <laughs> the, 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 hang on now. Hang on. Are you telling me that J.J. Watt didn't cure all the ails of the defense for the Texans? I know, right? Isn't it, because it, I'm pretty crazy. sure everybody in the world has convinced me that J.J. Watt is God's gift to defense and football. Yeah. And I if he's on the team, we're going to mic him up, and he's going to shout, and he's going to yell all the right things. Now, he's not going to make any sacks. He hadn't done that in a couple of years. He's not going to make it through an entire game. No, he can't do that either. But J.J. Watt, he's supposed to be a game changer, right? Their game changer is Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is the guy. Um, look, they got they still got wide receiver Will Fuller on offense. They brought in Brandon Cooks. They got Randall Cobb. Um, you know, okay, the, the issue with Fuller is that he can't stay healthy. He hadn't played all 16 games in a season ever. It's never happened. Um, I brought up the stat to you last year, how much more successful their offense is when he's on the field. But can you trust him to be on the field all the time? And he's proven right now, no. Uh, on defense, you know, they are going to lean on rookie defensive tackle Ross Blacklock. Uh, I believe the kid was from uh, TCU, right? That is um, too much to put on a rookie. That defense is not good enough. I know, right? Uh, they they are going to depend on him. And, they, I mean, they brought in some some guys to help shore up the secondary, but the secondary was atrocious against the pass last year. Just I don't, I don't I don't trust it. On top of that, turnover margin was number 15. They evened out at 0, 0.0. So, um, with that said, I – I just don't see a whole lot that I like from this team, but I do like Watson. Like I, I, I like Watson. I trust him. I, I've got him going eight and eight, um, okay. which is exactly what the win total is. We're close here, we're but we're I, close. I, I don't, I don't like the team. I don't like the direction that they're going. So I got him nine and seven, and I'll tell you why. Bill O'Brien, for all of his badness of being a GM, and it's all real and it's true and it's legit. He's actually a really good coach. Yeah. Like when the game starts, he he's pretty good at what he does. I think they'll be fine because of Watson. I think the, this division's not super tough. You have a team in this division that you get to play twice that's openly trying to tank, I believe. And so that, you know, if you can chalk up two W's there and then just, you know, win, you know, I guess basically my logic is is can you win seven games and beat the Jags twice? Um, I can get you to nine and seven. Uh that's that's all I can think of here. I, I but Watson is Watson's it. If if Watson can be all things to all people, that's awesome. You're putting way too much on him. Yeah. And and I'll tell you all I can hope for is after this season he is disgruntled and he is ready to leave and he finds himself a home in the <laughs> north side of Boston. I knew where this was going the whole time. The whole time. All he right. would look wonderful. Same colors, just a little bit different arrangement yes agreed agreed all right let's uh let's dive in 